today I've come to Saro Motors Incorporation. Now, if you don't know what this place is, it's basically a place. It used to be a jeepney factory, and I think now it just does restorations. It brings jeepneys back to life. It does uh, custom jobs like paintwork, really impressive engines, does all that sort of stuff. So yeah, let's check it out. If you saw my last video, you saw that I was at uh, the bumper to bumper event and I just fell in love with that jeepney. So I Googled it. Is there a jeepney factory? Is there anywhere that does custom jobs? So here I am, Saro Motors. This one is obviously based on uh, the old school, traditional style Jeep, jeepney. Um, obviously I'm not hundred percent sure. If you know, leave me a comment, but I'm loving this artwork. Just reminds me of like um, the colors and the wing mirrors. Just reminds me of like a, a fiesta or a party or something. What a beautiful, beautiful vehicle. I really am loving in these jeepneys, so cool. And then you've got these little jeeps here. And again, if you saw the last video, you saw that uh, the bumper to bumper event had like all these little mini jeeps and then they had one big jeepney there but oh my god this place has probably like i don't know a hundred jeepneys here or something and they're all very unique all look completely different really really cool This one's actually got the key in. I think I should take it for a ride, what do you think? That's a, I've just walked in, like nobody's asked me any questions. Um, there's one security guard on there, I just said, is it right if I just have a wander around? He's like, of course, yeah, excellent. So here we go, look at this one. Totally different style again. More like a Jeep, not a Jeepney. Check this out. cool is that? That is amazing. What a beautiful, what a beautiful vehicle, man. I really love these old motors. They've got so much more character than, um, you know, the really expensive stuff. But, you know, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, obviously they're impressive. But look at that, man. So much more character. So much more class about it. smells of like you know gas oil dirt, you know real real manly stuff but yeah look all these different stages of jeepneys this one's got its engine pulled out look so this one needs a full needs a full restoration obviously it's not in that bad a condition the actual bodywork and everything looks okay yeah, just needs a bit of cleaning up, new engine, all that sort of stuff. And it'll be, be back to normal, I guess. Well, right, this guy's actually working on an engine. Let's, uh, let's go and annoy him and have a look. Hello, sir. It's so interesting to see all the different stages. You've got some of them that are like immaculate, really old school. Probably some of the oldest ones you can, probably some of the oldest ones you can have, the classics over there. Absolutely mint, really beautiful. And then you've got these ones. They're obviously just been brought in and uh, they're getting worked on at the moment. So I'm guessing these are just privately owned and people bring them in and get them restored. It's pretty amazing to see actually. Uh, 
and this baby over here sponsored by well Hennessy come and do events here with like the NBA and stuff I've seen this on other vlogs so yeah here is the Hennessy jeepney sponsored by the NBA I believe how beautiful is that thing look at that I'm guessing this is what Hennessy's bought. They've bought one of these and then converted it into this bad boy over here. And this vehicle, I don't even know what this is. It looks like a tram or something, but it's got wheels and a steering wheel. It's really unusual. I've never seen anything like this. It's got little individual seats. Yeah, it's very, very interesting. It looks like a train slash a tram. Tram? Looks like a train slash a tram slash a car. I've never seen anything like that. That is so fascinating. Why is it individual seats as well? Doesn't really make sense. But also they have these really old fashioned horse and carts here, these classic ones. I mean, around in Tamoris and those sort of areas in Manila, you can come and ride these types of things. I'm guessing that the, the Spanish, oh, I'm guessing that the Spanish brought this sort of uh, culture over. But yeah, beautiful pieces of art and history. Really, really nice. I like the artwork as well. The girl has some nice boobies, which is good. And on this side as well. Look. Old San Juan. Yeah, man, this place is awesome. Hello, sir. Here we go, we have the jeepney, just the shell of it. Got all the wheels off, the whole steering wheel. I'm guessing this is gonna go in for a paint job. Look at that. Yeah, I have to say, like the bodywork actually looks Bodywork looks really nice, actually. Like if you sprayed that up, that'd look really cool. And then at the end of the line, you have these old boys. Look at these. These ones, the complete opposite of the spectrum. These ones on their last legs. Hopefully, someone's gonna recover these So I absolutely love these vehicles now. If I ever get rich at any point, I'm gonna buy a jeepney and turn it into a uh, camper van. Well, there we go, look, someone's actually, people are actually living in these ones, actually. Maybe, maybe some of the workers, I don't know. Makes sense though, if um, they've got ones that aren't gonna run anymore, and you can just make it into a little camper van, like I said then why not it's uh if they've got showers and cooking facilities on the on the site not a bad place to live really here we go let's actually go inside this one whoa 
So yeah, these vehicles are full of dust. Yeah, as you can see, these are the actual same size that you get actually in Manila currently. And uh, oh my God, there's a, <laughs> there's a dead rat under there. <laughs> Oh my god. And it looks like another rat. It looks like another rat's been eating it or something. But you're in the heart of Manila when you're going down the road in one of these things. Sometimes they pack in, I'm guessing probably like 40 people into one of these one of these jeepneys. And uh, the person nearest to the driver has to deal with all the money. You have to keep passing the money along. You say buy it, which means payment. And then, uh, yeah, you have to pass it to the guy driving in the seat next to um, next to the driver. So I'm guessing somebody's actually living in this one. It's got sheets all the way around it to um, get the sun out of it. And over here, this Jeep is amazing. Check this one out. This one's probably had the most money spent on it, I reckon. Like I say, just the silver, silver colour, which does look really smart actually. Wow. Really, really cool vehicles. so hot today and there's a lot of shade here and a nice breeze actually so yeah ah oh, that is so refreshing another thing i've noticed is people that have these jeeps and these jeepneys restored is that they all have like bmx's or classic bikes in the back so yeah that must be just part of the trend that comes with it if you buy a jeepney you buy a cool bike which i like actually it's really cool some of them are BMXs, some of them are classics. But you know, if I get my own jeepney, I'm gonna have to get a bike now. That's the rules. So this is out the front of Saro Motors. And I believe these are actually working jeepneys, I guess. These are the ones that actually go out on the road. I have to say, it's actually a really beautiful building, very old, made out of wood. A very peaceful atmosphere. Everyone looks actually very happy and proud of what they're doing. Everyone's just smiling, saying hello. 100% come and check this place out. I've had, it probably, you know, you could probably walk around it in an hour, 40 minutes, something like that. It's about a 40 minute grab journey, which costs about 400 pesos. So 100% worth it. Bring a friend with you, 400 each for return. Very interesting place. Come and check it out. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Hope you've enjoyed the Saro Motor Store, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, Mr. Matt.